Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today we're checking out the Citron V8 update, which brings some notable upgrades for Nintendo Switch emulation on Android. This release is particularly interesting because Citron is now coordinating with Rubing, which is a Rujinx fork, to improve game compatibility and overall performance. According to the developers, Citron V8 delivers boosts in game stability, audio quality, and responsiveness, making it a promising option for mobile Switch gamers. In this video, I'll walk you through my hands-on experience, how to set it up, and how it performs with real games. Starting off, Citroen V8 brings several key upgrades. Game compatibility has improved, with titles like Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and Breath of the Wild running smoother and more stable. The Rev15 audio engine delivers crystal clear sound with no distortion, making gameplay feel more premium. Visuals also get a boost with scale effects and Lanxos filters, enhancing texture sharpness and color clarity. Performance optimization through the PGO build system gives up to 25-30% to faster FPS, while core improvements and bug fixes make the emulator more stable and reliable overall. To get started, you'll need a few files. The Citroen APK, the prod.keys file, a compatible GPU driver, and your own NSP or XCI game files. Once you have everything ready, open the emulator and enable notifications when prompted. Next, install your product keys and set up your game directory by selecting the folder where your games are stored. Citroen supports both NSP and XCI formats, so you can use whichever format you have. Once everything is set up, you'll land on the emulator's home screen, where all your games will appear. From here, we'll move on to fine-tuning the settings to get the best performance possible. Go to the Advanced Settings section and open System Settings first. Set the limit speed to 200%. This allows the emulator to unlock frame rates up to 60 FPS. Next, move to Graphics Settings and make a few important adjustments. Set the accuracy level to normal and adjust the resolution to balanced 0.75x for most devices or low-end 0.5x for weaker phones. Set the V-Sync mode to Mailbox and choose Performance under the FSR 2.0 quality mode to prioritize smoother gameplay. The aspect ratio should be stretched to window for full screen output. If you're using an Adreno GPU, enable force maximum clocks to maximize performance. Also, turn on asynchronous shaders, which helps reduce stutters, though it might cause occasional visual glitches. Now head to the Zepzone settings section and keep the memory layout at the default 4GB DRAM setting. For VRAM usage mode, select aggressive to make better use of GPU memory. Finally, go back to the main settings and add your GPU driver. This is required for Snapdragon devices. Click the plus icon, select your driver file, and you're done. The emulator is now fully configured and ready for testing. Now let's see how the Citroen V8 performs in real games. I tested The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and on my device, the game runs at around 1520 FPS. While it's still playable, the experience isn't as smooth as we would hope, especially for a game that benefits from higher frame rates. Ideally, we'd like to see the gameplay running closer to 40 to 50 FPS for a truly fluid experience. I've noticed that some people online are using a 60 FPS FPS file for bot W to boost performance, which seems to make a big difference. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to find that file myself to test it. However, when I tested Little Nightmares 3, the results weren't as good. The game gets stuck on the loading screen, and even after experimenting with different settings, it still doesn't go beyond that point. Interestingly, the Eden emulator handles this game without any issues, so this is definitely something Citroen still needs to improve. So the big question, is Citroen V8 better than the Eden Switch emulator. Honestly, not yet. While the performance boost, better graphics, and the new Rev15 audio engine are huge improvements, Eden still leads when it comes to overall stability and game compatibility. Citroen V8 is showing impressive progress, but it still struggles with certain games that Eden handles easily. That said, if you're someone who enjoys testing new updates and wants smoother gameplay in titles like Zelda Breath of the Wild, this version is definitely worth trying. The improvements are real, and the developers are clearly pushing Citroen in the right direction. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay creative, gamers!